Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and first things first, we gotta get out of the way. Yes, my buddy is basic as hell. Yes, he buys inspirational artwork from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or perhaps Target or Walmart, but so I just gotta get that out of the way because I know people are gonna roast me on it. I, had, I, I was doing a screenshot the other day it shows um, I listened to Macy Gray. I didn't hear nothing but that for a couple of weeks. But anyway, this is uh, this is what I got today in the mail, which I was very, very excited about. And now I'm just like, oh, oh, uh, because um, this was all the stuff left at the Fulfillment Center from my Jawbreakers Lost Souls uh, Indiegogo from about a year ago right now. Um, long uh, road. And uh, I did an update on my uh, Indiegogo a couple days ago. I said, hey, if you haven't gotten it, if you're the last, you know, the request for replacements had basically stopped. So I said, hey, I'm about to start a new Indiegogo. I need to close out this one. So if you need some replacements, let me know. Um, and uh, I got like a small amount. It was, it was nothing more than that would take me about an afternoon to package and mail out. Uh, the problem was that uh, there's only... <laughs> 12 books left. Uh, there's tons of posters. I forget if the Zashi poster was three or four, but I got like 200 of those. What I got? I got so many posters. Posters everywhere. I've got hundreds of posters and <laughs> two t-shirts. Um, but books, I only have 12. Now, I like I said, back in the day, I... I reprinted from somewhere, or when I gave the order, I uh, bumped it up like another 500 or 900, but then I think we've done like 600 replacements for um, uh, 600. So I thought I was going to get like two or 300, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen. All I got is 12, and quite frankly, with a lawsuit, I think I need to keep all 12 of those. First of all, it wouldn't be fair because the number is more than 12 of people who are still owed it. So uh, I, I sent an email to the company. I go, what would be the price in the turnaround of like doing like 100 copies? I already know it's going to be ridiculous. The thing is, I'm starting another, I'm starting a remastered, you know, remastered file, basically a second edition with tweaking some of the print file, like in two days. And that new print file is going to be done in about two weeks so it's kind of a moot point i think i'm just going to have to do an update on the on the campaign and let people know hey for you guys um you couple dozen people i need you to either you, you can get a refund today or you can get a partial refund or you can we'll just work it out uh but anyway what does this thing even say happiness never decreases from being what what now I'm in suspense. I've walked by that thing a million times. I've never read it. It might have changed my whole life. Um, and for people who don't live on the border and they keep wondering why there's tile, it's because it's the border and people don't do carpet. They do tile. Um, anyway, getting to the actual story. Oh, look at all this screen capturing. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know this is going to be a good video if I got seven, sorry, clap warning, seven prepared tabs up there. So this is an article today, uh, 11, 299 and under new comics remaining in the direct market. So the direct market is comic book shops. And this is bad. This is really bad. I talked about things ending before, you know, like a, a job ending early. Um, uh, when you work contracting, you never get fired. Your contract just ends, quote, early. <laughs> but jobs and relationships and anything that ends, there's usually a sign and you usually don't pick up on it until it's too late. But this is the sign that you need to, you need to get the little, uh, what is it? The, the beauty pageant winner, do that little Rose Bowl float uh, wave that's mainly just uh, a lot of wrist uh, because that's it. Say goodbye to the comic book industry. It is done. There will still be stores that are called comic book stores, but they will be t-shirt, Funko Pop doll, and Magic the Gathering stores. This is, in my opinion, 
except for some exceptions for the you know major markets like New York City and you got Midtown Comics because they also do reselling. It, w- w- people send me uh, 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 pictures. They're like, "There's a hundred unsold copies of uh, Batman by Tom King." I was like, "That's because in a month from now they take those and they send them to a reseller, and, and that's that's why they over order everything at, at um, Midtown Comics." Um, but anyway, um, this is the end because when you go above two ninety nine, you do something very significant. You go above the casual perfect. You go above the Wendy's value meal menu. So I was very disappointed that they don't have the prices on this. But just like knowing what the Coinstar is and uh, how much the egregious fee it takes, uh, you've never, you're not truly poor unless you know what the Coinstar is and you use it to feed yourself. Uh, the other thing you do when you're you're a little flush with cash, you gotta. $20, $30 in your bank account is you eat at the Wendy's, uh, you eat at Wendy's and you order off the value meal. So uh, the uh, the val- I was basically for several years since I got out of the army in, God, what was it, 2010? Until I got into IT in 2013. Uh, I was basically the dame drops of the Wendy's value meal. That, that was basically how I fed myself and didn't die um but it's it gets into this thing of uh these are all casual purchases they're all they don't do the price because they vary from region to region but they're all like under two bucks and sometimes they're even less you can get i remember the date this this is what i was all about junior bacon cheeseburger take off the lettuce take off the tomato i didn't know about this double stack do they have this double stack everywhere i would have gotten that Wait, why is one more patty only 10 more calories? I'm calling shenanigans on that one. Um, the other one, this is my other favorite one. Crispy chicken sandwich, hell yeah. Sometimes that one would come and go and it would be replaced by a spicy, spicy chicken sandwich and I was just like, nah, bro. No, nah, no. Nah. But anyway, the, the point about the value meal is first of all, anyone can afford the value meal. Literally even homeless people can afford it. Um, but it also kind of shows you what you can get for a dollar seventy nine. Now, speaking of a dollar and change, this is GI Joe. Oh, look! Oh, wow! Look at all these GI Joes. Cool. Yeah, I forgot that I left that tab open. Uh, I'll leave it open just because it's cool. I I, was, I just got it to get this one, but and then to get this one, it's only three hundred DPI. So yeah. So uh, anyway, this is GI Joe thirteen. It was uh, Larry Hama. Mike Vosberg, Bob Sharon, and Randy Eberlin on inks. Just a fan, freaking tastic. And uh, let's see, that was 1983, and 20 years later, that was me, Machine Guy. Except for it was in the Marines, not the Army, but um, I went into the Army later. So this is very influential on my life, but let's really dig into what this says. 60 cents, 1983. Let's go to the inflation calculator. If in 1983, I purchased an item for 60 cents, then in 2019, that item would cost $1.53. We all know that the average comic book right now is uh, $3.99. There's only 11 left under $2.99, and and we're gonna see most of those that's not gonna last. It's mainly just alternative stuff. But uh, to do uh, something else, a little, Math. I'm nervous. This is a Marine doing math. Okay, even with the calculator, it's still scary. So, uh, throughout the history of the floppy comic, it's varied from sometimes as low as like 18 pages. There was a while there where they were doing like half page advertisements. 18 to 22. The Most of the time when I was collecting comics, 80s, 90s, it was 22 pages for a, a floppy. Um, now 20 is a standard and 399 is a standard. So let's look at that. That is $3.99, I'm so nervous, I'm bad at math. Divided by 20 pages. Yes, I know there's more actual pages in there, but this is story pages. Equals basically 20 uh, cents per page. So now let's uh, do it by what I do for uh, both Iron Sights and Jawbreakers Lost Souls were uh, um, 120 pages. Uh, if I remember correctly, Iron Sights was $20, but not included with postage. Uh, and then for domestic, uh, 
Jawbreakers was $25, but that included postage. So let's just basically say they're both $20. Um, so we're going to do times 120, and that equals $23.94. So at the per page rate that the average comic is, you actually saved basically $4 by, you know, I'm, I'm giving you a, a value savings of $4. Now let's do, clear this one out. Wow, a lot of math here. I am very, I'm very nervous. $2.99 divided by 20 equals about 15 cents per page. And then for a, you know, good size graphic novel, trade paperback, that ends up being $17.94. So my price point is basically $2 above, if you know, $2.99 was still the standard, it's $4 below what $3.99. So again, okay, we got the Dame Drops, we got the Value Meal, we got the G.I. Joe's. I wanna look at these G.I. Joe's. Obviously I got G.I. Joe's when I was a kid, but there was like a late 90s phase where they stopped making new Joe's. What is this? Oh, this is like when like, what is this? G.I. Joe Original 13 Reimagined. Oh, this is like the, the, oh, this is so cool. So this is like the first year and these, and they basically all had like the same body type. They would just have little differences. Wow. That is so awesome. I don't think you can buy these. I think these are um, individually done. How cool is that? Click here to see the entire 13 in full glory. Oh. Wow. Okay, this is, we're going to sidebar. So again, uh, when G.I. Joe started, the first year, they basically used the same body parts for every single one, and they would just have different heads. I'm not kidding. They were that cheap. Uh, rock and Roll, he had uh, Bandoliers, a 7.62. Um, uh, uh, what was it? Um, Stalker, he had like a little LBV. Um, and then there was some, uh, and then he had like a little camera. Most of them were basically the same body. Grand Slam. Wow, this looks so cool. There's Flash. I don't know. These are a little too super here. I mean, these are really awesome for... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this one. Uh, this is future Jawbreakers material right here. Uh, these are just cool. Wow, look at Steeler. This is amazing. Nice. All right, yeah, that one's pretty, pretty normal. These are customs, jeez. I'm sure these things are ridiculous. If you want, some of these ones I'm um, recognizing from other figures. Um, okay. Man, Stalker's rocking them dreads. Zap. What? Surf's up, bro, that is awesome. Clutch looking pretty cool. Okay, so anyway, getting 10 minutes in, getting into the actual article. So uh, on Bleeding Cool, uh, $11.99 and under new comics remaining in, in the direct market. Um, uh, Spawn, uh, I guess Spawn, uh, I think Tom McFarlane's worth about 40 million. I looked that up a couple weeks ago. I'm setting some goals about what I want my net worth to be in like five years. So I was looking at, you know, rich comic book people and, and what they have. It's kind of shocking. Rob Liefeld only has two million. And like, that seems low. Um, so Spawn, what I'm saying is, Todd McFarlane's not worried about getting an extra 20 cents out of you selling an issue of Spawn. So Spawn is still 2.99, Archie and Friends 2.99, uh, Scooby-Doo Comics, DC, two of them 2.99, Teen Titans, Looney Tunes, yeah, so kid stuff, and then of course we got alternate. Exilium, it came out on a Wednesday, Midnight Mystery, Mighty Mascots, Scrimshaw. I've actually reviewed that one. That one was good. Um, and then I, okay, so here's the covers. Uh, so basically it's the kid-centric one. It looks like for the most part. So anyway, uh, okay. <laughs> I actually thought I was gonna spend a lot more time on the article, but the article just didn't have a lot of meat to it. So it's good that I talked about uh, my, uh, uh, my friend is basic, 
Um, I got to figure out what to do about these last couple dozen people who need replacements. I got a new Indiegogo starting in a couple of days. I'm the Dame Drops of the Wendy's Value Meal. Uh, some cool uh, custom G.I. Joes. The price of uh, G.I. Joe uh, today would be about $1.60. Instead, it's $3.99. Um, the page count value for $2.99 for a trade paperback versus, wow, it's like a nice little. Eh, okay. All right. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone given to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. And I'll have a, a new comic review up later tonight. Thanks. Bye.